Suppose the key from the last dungeon bonus is moved to Star Town, Volume 7 Review. Volume 6, I suppose the key for the last dungeon bonus moved to the Star Town in the Lloyd's time as a bellboy. As a finish of the Luxury Hotel arc, now back at the Academy from Volume 7, our cast faced a new problem. Rumors have begun to spread about the powerful monster that has made a home for itself in the new dungeon and the city decides to send the Academy students in to investigate. After all, with Lloyd among the students, there's no way they're going to struggle against anything they find in there. In fact, the biggest hurdle for Lloyd to overcome may not be the inhabitants of the dungeon, but rather the second year students of the Academy. Head of the second year students is Mikuna, who's hunting suspicious of Lloyd and all the crazy achievements he's managed since joining the Academy, plus he joined midway during the school year. So Mikuna is convinced there's something fishy about his identity. So to prove her theory once and for all, Mikuna challenges the first year group to a race to see who can clear the dungeon first and of course, She'll be doing everything she can ensure that she steals the glory from Lloyd whatever happens. Naturally, in true Dungeon Bonies fashion, what no one realizes is that this dungeon drawn safe for students to conquer is actually an advanced tire, meaning only the most powerful adventurers should take it on and that there is a significant risk to anyone else. Andrew, would you have Lloyd on your side? I suppose it's less of a concern than you think. Much like previous volumes in this series, Volume 7 delivers some great comedy quote moments as well as striking action scenes. The story is more generic than the previous arc, but it's still fun to watch Lloyd and McQueen's crew complete in each other while clearing the dungeon. In the background, Obi knows that our protagonist, some nefarious individuals are starting to make a move with plans to be working on scenes when you want. However, much like many of the shonen titles being pulled out by Square Enix manga, there's a feeling that we can see everything this one has to offer. Not bad thing if you're enjoying its bread of action and humor of course. If you're a fan about it, I don't see anything changing significantly in the volumes to come. The series is very set in the structure of Lloyd finding powerful enemies while underestimating his abilities. Meanwhile, the rest of the cast continues to be as exasperated as we're readers about how clueless our protagonist proves to be. Again, not a negative if you're on board with this, but certainly like to wear thin for anyone else now you're in a 7 book in the 11 plus available in Japan. As previously mentioned, Suppose the key for the last bon mo bunch of bonnies moved to a starter town volume 7 comes to the west thanks to Square Enix manga and continues to be translated by Andrew Cunningham. Volume the series is scheduled to release in April, with number 9 following in June, July and number 10 in October. Overall, suppose the key for the last dungeon bonnies moved to a starter town volume 7 begins a new arc which is entertaining, but we feel very familiar familiar friends of shonen series like this. Existing fans will have a good time, but anyone hoping for something different will likely be disappointed. Disappointed as it doubles down on the thrones we've seen in previous storylines. A free preview can be read at the Square Next website here. 7 out of 10.